To make your martingale collar, you will need one long piece for the actual collar, shorter piece for the martingale, three tri sliders, D ring, and a piece of herringbone tape. Take your collar piece. I make Alfie's collars all the time, so I know what size I need for his collar, but this is going to be adjustable. You'll need a zipper foot so you can get up close to the edge of the slider. Two and a half, that's fine. And just sew across to put your slider on. Go backwards as well to make it secure. I don't ever use a triple stitch because personally I find that it acts as a perforator and it tears the fabric. Then you want to put one on the end to keep that secure. You don't need to tuck the tail ends in because you've got your binding underneath. Your interfacing will seal the ends so it won't fray. And just go backwards and forwards. Just to keep it strong. Right. Take your next tri slider, slide it on with the seam at the top. You put your loose end through that side and then through that side. That's your collar adjustment. Your last tri slider goes on the end there so you've got the two other pieces hanging out and again fold that over and put a couple of seams to hold that in place Oops. you've got eight layers of fabric so the fabric itself is strong enough That's your collar. Right, on your martingale piece, you want to thread it through so that you've got the buckle at the bottom. You put your big D ring on, mine are always welded. You need to change to a zigzag stitch. You want it as long as possible but fairly close together. These two pieces you need to hold really tightly together. Change your foot for your ordinary one. And again we're going to go backwards and forwards across that join. This isn't the only security you've got on the top. It is really strong enough to hold it as it is. You're going to sew your herringbone tape over it as well. Okay. Now, take your tape, going to wrap it round this join and do a box stitch to make sure it's absolutely solid and secure. Alfie's a real puller and this, they do, this does take a lot of strain, but I've never had one go on me, so... Obviously the box stitch pulls it all together 
and makes it look neat. As close to that edge as you can so you've got a neat join in there and we're going to sew a box stitch. I'm not going to change threads, we'll just do it in the same so you can see it. It's a bit fiddly this bit because you've got loops and ironwork everywhere. We're going to sew along that join there. Down each side. in if you need to. I always, always use cotton, 100% cotton for all my collar and lead work, even the herringbone tape and the bias binding, it's all cotton, just because it takes the wear so much easier. You know, two or three wears of a poly cotton and it's starting to wear out. Cotton will get months and months of hard wear out of it. A nice strong box in the centre that really secures everything. There's that piece like that, a nice box. We'll trim it up a little bit don't have to worry about threads because you've got so much stitching in there it's not going to come out. Switch your foot again to a zipper foot. Now you want to line up your D-ring in the centre of your herringbone tape so that the tape takes all the wear and then we're going to put stitches across there keep it together. I prefer this way of doing a martingale because it gives you the proper pulling action. The one where you overlap it over itself, you don't get a proper tension on the collar and it doesn't do it any good. You don't get the proper working. And that's it. Tidy all your tails up. And it's Alfie's new collar. We'll put it on and you can see it on him. Martingale collars don't have a fastening. You pop it over his head and you adjust it on the slider. And what you want to achieve is when you put your collar up, when you put the lead on and pull, you want a gap like this, inch and a half, two inches to get the check action and then when he rel relaxes and the lead goes it moves out again and once you've got the right size it just pops off again that's how you fit a martingale collar look at you and your beautiful 